Greetings, fellow gorehounds, and welcome back to a blood splattered vlog. I'm the horror guru, and I'm Count Jackula. He's Count Jackula. It's true. He sometimes forgets, but uh, I've you forgotten know. on occasion. Yeah. You know, but sometimes you just gotta remind him. Be like, hey, hey, you. Yeah, you're Count Jackula. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. What do I do with this information? You know. Today we're gonna talk about uh, they live in the gray. Ah, uh, yeah. Which is a new Shudder original horror film that's essentially a ghost story uh, in the vein of like, it's kind of like a cross between The Sixth Sense and The Babadook in that, yeah. in that it's about a character who can see ghosts, but they're also dealing with their own trauma of a death that happened to them. And so they're like kind of working out ghost problems while also dealing with their own internal problems and it's all a giant metaphor for grief. It starts out with a woman attempting to commit suicide. Oh man, it's it's such a fucking intense first image too. Yeah. You're just like, Jesus, oh God. You know, but it's it's done in a matter of fact way. You're like observing it from a distance. Like it's just, oh well, that, that woman's killing herself. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. She fails. Yeah. She fails. Um and then the movie goes and from then there. The movie goes from there, yeah. <laughs> and one of the things that's really co cool about this movie is it does have an Asian female lead. It does. It is set in America. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's America. It might, might be Canada, but I'm pretty sure it's it, America. It, they literally said they're in Fresno. So. Oh, 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 that's right. That's yeah. right. Set in Fresno. And it, God, this is a really hard movie to describe. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's it's very emotionally intense. It is, and you're trying to figure out what there are things to spoil here. Yeah, there is. There is. We'll, we'll talk about them in the spoiler yeah. section, but there is there is some twists and turns and some reveals. Yeah, because um, there's a big question about whether the ghosts she sees are real. Yeah, real. yeah. There's, there's whether the ghosts, they're, they're real and some more shit that we'll talk about when we get to the spoiler section. Yeah. Um, but but ultimately, like, this is this is not a movie f to, to watch if you're in a really bad mood, because this, this is this is a movie about someone dealing with the trauma and grief of losing losing a loved one um in a very intense manner like yeah. like whether it be like the opening scene suicide or a suicide attempt um yeah. or, or the um uh the many many times she is reminded from the spirits that she sees throughout the story uh of her dead you know loved one it's also like like uh, deals with how the family members left behind after someone dies, like the the way it can like tear apart that family. Yeah. Um, because yeah. sometimes being around the people who also love the person you lost can be more painful because they remind you of the person. Like it's Yeah, there there is a lot about death in the family. There's mm -hmm. also a lot of uh because she's a she's a cps she's cps so like there are children in danger yeah she's child protective services um so there is some stuff that she's dealing with like as part of her job and part of the story of child abuse and uh things therein with that yeah and you're not entirely and as you're watching her you're not entirely sure whether what she is doing is either appropriate or even a good idea exactly exactly and to be honest she's not entirely sure because no no she's not like there is a point at which she tells someone that she can see ghosts and it is very much the kind of like well who the fuck cares anymore mm -hmm. You know, like who the like right? Maybe they'll throw me in a fucking insane asylum. Maybe I just oh, want yeah. to be there. Fuck this. You know? Yeah, the, 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 she is not in a good place when this story starts. Yeah, yeah. They they live in the gray. Refers not just to the ghosts, but literally to her. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a, there's a great double metaphor of like ghosts. They're spirits who cannot move on, and she is someone who cannot move on. Yeah. Um, uh, there's 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 also the um, the purgatory of a ghost having to relive their most traumatic moment, that being their last moment. Yeah. Um, over and over and over again. And if you're a PTSD victim or a uh, someone who has recently lost someone like she has, then you're reliving that over yeah. and over again. So there's a, there's like a double metaphor going on with the ghost. And I love the way they visually show this in the movie. Throughout the entire movie, she's always framed within a frame. Yes. There, there's always yeah. like a frame surrounding her like she's trapped whether it be like her car window, so you're filming outside the car and her inside the car window, yeah. or 
or her in a hallway and there's another hallway like right in between that's kind yeah of because her. yeah and it also helps with the feeling of of putting you in her position because you are just as you are slightly as detached. Yeah, yeah. As she is, and she also she all they always use this huge wide angle lens when they do it too. So she yeah. always looks really tiny center frame with all the stuff surrounding yeah. her. Yeah, yeah. You know, and because she's she's stuck, she's trapped. She's in her own little purgatory hell. She lives in the gray. Yeah. Um. Um. And uh, it, it, yeah, this is a really good movie. It's just a really rough movie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. It it is really good. It's 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 excellent. It absolutely does what it's trying to do. Oh man! Like, but man, it it it's trying to get you to understand a really fucked up feeling. Both her and the actor that plays her husband are just phenomenal. Oh yeah, yeah. You feel really, really, really bad for both of them. There's a point where he breaks down crying and like I was gonna break down crying yeah. like while watching yeah. it. It was just it's one of those performances that just hits you like Yeah, yeah, where he's like where he's like begging her to mm -hmm. to say something or yeah. do something. Yeah. You know, just so he knows how she feels. That scene where they're both yell where they're both yelling at each other. Well technically he's yelling and she's kinda like not even responding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's 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 the, the confrontation is about the fact that she is not talking. Because like she, he is he has reached the end of his rope of trying to get her to engage with him. And she has not given him given him anything. She, he's done everything from giving her space. He even moved out. He's yeah. He's tried to uh, talk with her about it. He's tried to uh, uh, help her find help to talk to, to someone about it. Yeah. She, he's tried yeah. every. They are, possible. They're on the they're on the precipice of uh, divorce. Yeah, and, they, and he has tried everything, and and he's just his, he's he's at his last resort. He is at his wit's end because he himself cannot deal with this trauma alone, and she is not letting him in, and so he just starts losing it and yeah, yelling yeah. at her. Um, and he and he knows he's in the wrong, and the scene knows he's in the wrong for doing this. But you also understand you why. also understand why he's doing it because by the time that scene happens, you've been watching this relationship, and yeah. you're just sort of like, oh no, like it's one of those like they they don't tell you exactly how the death happened for a very long time because that would put you in a judgmental space. Yeah, you're not supposed to judge. Yeah, you're not supposed to yeah. judge. You're just supposed to be watching this happen and yeah. you're supposed to judge later. You know, it's like like watching that scene where he was yelling at her, like, I understand where they were both coming from in that scene. Yeah, you exactly. Know? Where like, if you knew what was going on, you might have actually like cast blame on Yeah, something. it might have painted a little bit yeah. in the scene, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So for the longest time they don't tell you, you know that there's like a oh no but everything the details else, are the fuzzy details are very fuzzy until until towards the end towards the end you do get all the details it answers every question it asks yeah you know are the ghosts real there's an answer for that um what's going on with the uh, with the kid that's being abused that she's dealing with at work there's an answer for that it's all yeah. answered um but anyway um we're, we're gonna move on to the spoilers soon because it's really hard to talk about stuff without getting yeah into there's the a lot of things we have to throw around uh, absolutely absolutely but one thing i will say um before we move on to the spoilers is that the ghosts in this are freaky as hell um it reminds me a lot of the way the ghosts were handled in the sixth sense where it's oh, yeah. like you, you you're not sure if you're dealing with a ghost or dealing with not a ghost until the ghost thing happens and yeah <laughs> and and the funny thing is is you're not for the longest time you're not even sure if she's alive yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're not sure. There are point. There are different points in this movie where I'm like, okay, she died at the opening scene, and and this and she's a ghost. <laughs> yeah, around. yeah, yeah. This is the sixth sense all over again. And then there there are points where I'm like, oh, the uh, the husband, uh, the way he keeps popping in, uh, he's he's obviously a ghost. He must have died with the kid. Like, there's, 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 yeah, I, I kept yeah. going through all that. It's like, oh, the uh, the kid uh, that she's dealing with with child CPS. Yeah, she she's she's actually already dead. Like it's like yeah, yeah, like, exactly. You're, these... you're really not sure. <laughs> you're not sure who is a ghost and who isn't. My of the time which once again yeah part of the pro point part of the point of the movie uh, like 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 without getting into spoilers like like one of the first things you end up like seeing is this one ghost that has like the slit throat oh yeah um and you're not sure like what the deal is but all, all it's this guy with this slit throat he's holding his throat and all he can say is just look what you made me do <laughs> like yeah it's just like jesus christ and i'm gonna say this is there ever a context where someone says that and it's not in an, ab an abusive context oh like, no it's not i don't think it exists no 
Like what you made me do you is do. always like yeah, that's that's always abusive. And like the ghosts pop up at random like that, and she doesn't know when they're gonna pop up. It's just like, oh hey, there's this person who just started talking to me. Oh hey, how's it? Go? Oh shit, it's a ghost. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like oh shit, it's a ghost. Yeah, and because they, she's an adult and that she deals with children, she's very like closed off and tight lipped because mm -hmm. not even she's sure if they're real. Oh, absolutely. Also, her trauma is affecting her job too. Like oh yeah, yeah. She, she she finds herself more often than not like siding with parents, and it's not always instances where she should. But we'll get more into that. Yeah. Uh, the movie is currently available on Shutter. It is a Shutter original movie. I'm sure it will hit other platforms to rent and stuff. But if you want to watch it right now, you got to go to Shutter, and I recommend going over going over there and uh, checking it out. And with that said, my fellow Gorehounds. Um, Warning, child abuse, warning, um, death trauma of child. I don't think there's animals dead. Um, I don't remember there being an animal I don't think dead. there's any animal deaths. I don't think right. so, yeah. So let's move on to, to the spoilers. <laughs> Luckily, this movie did not go the completely desolate route. Well, there was a lot of like, like stock ways it could have went yeah that it, it doesn't go yeah and, yeah I, and I really appreciate yeah it was that. really like well yeah yeah especially after like things like uh antlers mm -hmm. and uh oh god what was the other one um oh um the one the one with the with the brothers um, yeah yeah um that one was slap face slap face mm -hmm. yeah where i was really afraid it was gonna get really super fucking grim where it turned out like the main character like actually killed this the movie on purpose. this movie actually has a really hopeful ending it does it does um um but yeah you you are right like you are wondering like did you just straight up murder your kid at a certain point because they, they've they've kept it from you for so long you're, you're, you're yeah you're starting to worry the worst yeah um yeah yeah and then and then they tell you and you're just sort of like oh i see why you blame yourself and i also see yeah that that's kind of BS because yeah, the, the long and short of it is she she knows that she's been able to see these ghosts for a while, and she takes medications to try to like numb the effects of yeah. like seeing the ghosts and stuff. And she took too much of the medications one day, and she was supposed to pick the kid up from school, but she ended up passing out instead. And wh while the kid was walking on his way home, he got hit in a hit and run. Yeah. And so she blames herself because she was supposed to pick the kid up that day. Yeah. And uh, throughout the movie, they do this really great way of like piecemealing in all these little details that lead you to like what the actual situation is. Like she constantly goes out into the, into the desert and looks out into this. Yeah. It's spot. like, it's like this fucking like seven John Doe. It, it, was, desert, it was, it was straight up. Yeah. I, I swear it was where Gwyneth Paltrow's head in the box. Was yeah. In seven. Yeah. Pretty like, much. Same I'm fucking like... desert. I swear to fuck. <laughs> I mean, it, if this movie was filmed in Fresno, where where yeah, where, pro yeah, that that's yeah. probably somewhere somewhere around there. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, and she keeps looking into the spot, and you're not sure why she's looking into the spot. You know, it probably has something to do with her dead kid, but you don't know the details. And because you don't know the details, your your mind, your imagination goes wild. Like, did you bury your kid in the desert or something? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What's what's, what's, going, what's going, going on? on? You know, it's just have to do with something that you haven't revealed yet. You what's know? happening? There's also like every scene with her and her husband, where her husband's trying real hard to connect with her. Like, oh, he brings her brings her dinner to make sure she's eating and like brings over some of her stuff that she 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 uh left in his closet and like like all all these things like just trying yeah. to trying to connect with her and trying to like yeah and you're trying to and you're trying and you're the one thing that they do make pretty clear is whatever it was that happened to the kid which we just told you yeah um but whatever it was that happened to the kid um only thing you're pretty sure of is that the dad had nothing to do with it yeah that's yeah, the only thing you're sure of. neither of them seem to consider that and they're both obviously grieving so yeah yeah they both blame themselves you know yeah it's 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 really good okay so it turns out that the ghosts are real. Like they are she sees real. actual ghosts. Like she's actually seeing ghosts. And she learns over the course of the movie that she can actually help them move on uh, because they are all stuck in their trauma and in their spot. And she's basically like the one who can show them the door out because she can see them. You know, yeah, yeah, because she runs into this old woman ghost that at first she doesn't realize is a ghost. That's a great example of one where you're just like, is that a ghost? Is that not a ghost? I don't know yet. Yeah, and then they reveal that yeah. it is. And you're like, oh. 
okay, you know, they, they don't all have their heads caved in. And she's the one, she's kind of the one who, uh, the old lady ghost is kind of the um, the author surrogate. The yeah, person who yeah. says, like, what the point of the story is. Yeah, she's is. the author surrogate or the, the, the fairy godmother. Yeah. You know, the one who's like, hey, let me you say know, straight on a few things. The, the, the lie we tell ourselves is that this is something we can do on our own, but no one can go through this alone. You yeah. Know, we need each other in order to get through Yeah, kind of yeah. Pain. Your whole thing is like, do you, do you know what... Yeah. what Oh, I, I Without can't even, real, re- I can't even replicate it because it was oh, so yeah. good. It was such know? a great performance. Like the old lady was a phenomenal. Yeah, it was captivating as fuck every time she spoke. Yeah, um, but like, like it's it basically without directly calling her out, but kind of calling her out for pushing out, pushing away all her, the people. Yeah, yeah, particularly her husband. Her husband, the old lady, goes, sees that. You know, because that's the husband's deal. The husband's like, look, I don't. We should not deal with this by ourselves. We should deal with this together because. This was our kid. This is our trauma, and trying to do it on our by ourselves is not working. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I have no one to talk to about exactly. This. You yeah. know, absolutely. You, you you trying to do this on your own means that I also have to do it on. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know? um, and so she kind of has to learn that, like, oh shit, like much like these these ghosts, I am stuck. Yeah. I am reliving my trauma over and over again. I have not moved on. I am in purgatory. I am living in the gray, gray. as well. Yeah. I have to reach out to my husband and talk to him. Yeah. Um, but yeah. that's that that that's like that's her journey. But the plot involving the kid, the one that's being abused, um, at first you kind of have this turns out she's not actually being abused. Twist, it's a ghost that's hurting her. Right. And you're like, oh shit, that that that's really weird and and interesting because obviously them confirming that the ghosts are real because they can see it and then the ghost literally fucking like stabs a a fucking knife through her mom's hand and it's just like jesus christ yeah but then there's a further twist later on where you you find out that the ghost that's haunting them is the ghost of a mother whose child was killed by their father yeah and she killed the father and then killed herself um very grim um uh and so the and there's actually like if you rewatch the movie, it's actually pretty clear that the ghost only ever attacks Ex- anyone when they hurt the kid. Yeah. And she yeah. only ever touches the kid to protect the kid. Yeah. Um, and and this is when it re- is basically revealed as the movie goes on that the mom of the kid has been abusing her the entire time. Yeah. And that even to the main character's best judgment, she did not catch it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that this woman is what the main character is afraid she is. Exactly. You know, she's using her pain as uh, as justification for torturing yeah. her kid. And and for the record, her pain, while it is real, it's not it it's it her response to her pain is very disproportionate to the actual pain. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because what is her pain? Her pain is her husband cheated on her, which hurts. Someone cheating on you means that like all sorts of like insecurities and shit hit when you when that happens yeah. but at the end of the day he just cheated yeah he yeah just that's cheated. one of those that's one of those divorce worthy yeah divorce worthy but not yeah not abuse your kid worthy oh my god he, he, he didn't do anything else to you but that and so that pain is real but she's transformed it into taking it out on the kid because mm-hmm. the kid is the one thing he loves. More yeah, than because her. he loves the kid more than her in yeah. her mind, you know. And, and and I'm sitting there going like, well, you should love that kid more than him. Like that's exactly the fact that you don't is what's broken here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, but there, anyway, it's, it's it's the thing that you realize that um, the the the, uh, the two couples, the, mm-hmm. uh, the the main character and her husband and the abused parent mm-hmm. the ch- children of the abused kid uh are very mirrored in each yeah. other yeah um to the point where you're you start of wondering uh what makes them different and the main thing that makes them uh different is that uh the husband and, and the main care uh, the main character's husband is constantly 
uh, is not only constantly reaching out to her, he's not making excuses. Yeah, it's true. You know, true. whereas the other guy kind of makes some excuses, oh, even he though he is also trying to make good. Uh, yeah, that's one thing I'll give him. He cheated on his wife. You know, that's that's a shitty thing to do. But he is obviously trying to make amends with that. Yeah, but he's also tr clearly yeah. not very good at no, it. No, no. You know, he's point. not being as he's not being as earnest as the other guy. But I'll be honest. There's a point when she pulls that gun out and is like, "I'm gonna kill the kid to take away the one thing you love." Where I was just like. Jesus Christ, Christ, woman. Yeah. He just slept with another woman. Yeah. <laughs> he just cheated on you. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. But like, because the point is, <laughs> is that this woman is crazy. Oh, yeah. She's completely fucking nuts. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is like, she's like, like Munchausen by proxy. Kind of, oh, kind of crap. completely nuts. You uh, know, and, and you also, and you also realize that during this period of time that the ghost almost exclusively hurts the mother. Mm -hmm. You know, because the ghost knows what the fuck is going on. It was a nice twist. I didn't actually see it coming. Um, like, like we had so many other things going on in the movie. I did not expect there to be a twist there. <laughs> I, I was wondering whether or not there was going to be because I was like, if it's a very good movie, then I just caught a detail. Mm -hmm. If it's not a very good movie, then this scene is going to make no sense. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, and that's the scene where... It happens a bit, it happens around the middle of the movie where it's just the mother and the father of the abused kid. And she is just refusing. She is simultaneously, um, she simultaneously is mad that he does not love her more than their daughter, mm -hmm. but is at the same time punishing him for this perceived slight oh, yeah. to the point where nothing he does matters. Yeah. It's not going to change anything. One thing that definitely was like a minor red flag for me early on, but I didn't think it would go to where it went. Yeah. Um, was um, after she gets stabbed in the hand by the ghost. Yeah. And he's like, okay, I'm taking you to the hospital. Fuck this. I don't care what it looks like to the rest yeah, of the world. Yeah. Because the problem is, is that because of the ghost and everything that from the dad's point of view, like, Everyone thinks they abuse their kid because of the ghost. He doesn't actually realize that his wife is abusing his kid. Yeah. And she all of a sudden starts going off about like, did you sleep with her in this room? Did you sleep with her uh, on this bed? And I'm sitting there going like, okay, look, I get that you're hurt that your husband cheated on you like a couple months back. I get that this is a thing that still stings, but you literally just got stabbed in the hand and this is the first thing you're thinking of. A ghost, <laughs> a supernatural uh, uh, creature. Yeah. A ghost just stabbed you in the hand and all you can think about is this thing, your husband, who was trying to get you to the hospital to take care of you. Yeah. This thing that he did wrong a couple months back. Yeah, well, back. which would- That's all which, you can Which you just, on. just him take, uh, like he says, like just him taking you there is gonna make him look bad and he knows it. Yeah. But he's gonna do it anyway because it's not what matters. He's willing to take that risk to protect you and all you can focus on is whether he slept with someone in that room. And and I'm, I'm just sitting there going like, this feels a little, like I get that that, that that pain is real of being cheated on, but this feels like, the wrong time. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, absolutely. This feels like there's time and place. Yeah, you're and, like, woman, are you okay? Like, you shouldn't know? you be more concerned about the thing that just stabbed you in the hand right now? I'm, I'm just saying. This is. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize she was gonna. Well, go there's a, there's a point where later. you're wondering whether or not that mom's possessed. Oh yeah, that's true too. You yeah. know, um, it turns out no, she's just crazy. No, there's a great fucking scene though when when uh, the main character saves the kid from the mom. Uh, does not oh, save the yeah. dad. The dad gets killed. Not yeah. not her. Not her husband, but the the the, the kids, the kids' dad. dad. Yeah, the ghosts um, and her have this great moment where they look each other eye to eye, and the, the ghost has that like "I told you so" smile. Like, yeah, and then goes off because she can move on. Yeah, uh, she has saved a child. Therefore, and the movie ends with what I'm assuming is her starting a psychic business or something. Yeah, that was a little <laughs> odd. Yeah, you know, but I, I was mean, like, is this a sequel bait? What is this? Yeah, the only the only really problem I had with that scene is I don't know why all of a sudden she starts dressing like super Christian woman. I don't know. In that scene, I was like, that seems like that's going a little bit but far. I, she wasn't exactly like she wasn't exactly the opposite beforehand. But I will say this: there was this one filmmaking detail I really liked about this movie. Um, is that uh, oftentimes in scenes where she and her husband were talking to each other, mm -hmm. uh, she would be framed. Okay, say you have like a like a you know rectangle frame, you know right. widescreen frame. Uh, he would always be framed, looking 
toward working off towards the camera towards where she is that that the negative space being in front of them yeah she would always have the negative space put behind, behind her, her so she's yeah. closer to the edge of the frame and she would always have the negative space behind her which first off makes her feel like she's a little bit more closed off and 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 uh stuck um but the second thing it does is that like he's trying to look forward yes and she's stuck behind yep um at the very end of the movie um, when they're when she's telling him everything that she has been going through with the ghosts and all that stuff, and he's finally understanding what was going on with that and why she was taking the pills or whatever, they're both framed as looking back. Yeah, they're both framed yeah. with the back thing. They're now both in sync. Um, uh, but at the same time, they're also in their wide shot of them. She's no longer enclosed in anything. She's, right. She's now yeah. free in the open. Yeah, air. they're now out, out, they're talking yeah. about outside in a park. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, it's really good. You know, you it's know. it's very it's a very simple detail, but it really works. Well, yeah, like these are the good like how to put it like these are the great nuts and bolts of the craft. Absolutely, of filmmaking. Absolutely, you know, and it's it's nice to see. It's always nice to see that level of detail in art. Agree. You know, it's it's a, it's the thing that separates like. It's a thing that separates mediocre art from good art. Hell, in this case, good art from great art. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you can make a really good story that doesn't like have this many intricate details and in how it's told. Right? Yeah, yeah. This is this is really, really good. Absolutely. Really good movie. It's not. It, it may seem like we're, we're a little a ambiguous on it because of the tones of our voice, but that's because. Nine tenths of this movie are really oh yeah whoa you're just sitting there going oh my yeah god well it's because it's 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 a movie that that's a little rough oh yeah like like not yeah. not like it's executed rough I mean it's hard to sit through because it's it's a tough subject matter yeah you're watching you know? someone you're watching someone like emotionally torture themselves exactly you know and it's it's it, it if you're if you're prone to doing that you're gonna see yourself. And if you're not prone to that, you're going to be like, oh, my God, this looks terrible. This is horrifying. Absolutely. You know? So if we sound a little somber, it's because the yeah, movie. It's a very somber movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even though it has a, 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 a happy ending, it has a, ends on a positive note. Like, it's still a very somber flick. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Anyway, my fellow Gorehounds, I really like this movie, and I recommend oh, yeah. it. And with oh, yeah. that said, where can they find you, Count Dracula? Well, you can find me at Counting Jack on Twitter, where I always announce when I am streaming here on YouTube. Um, if you want to be updated on that? You should follow me there, or you can follow me at Satanic Dracula on Instagram if they, you you prefer the Grams. The Grams. And when we stream, uh, like we do all sorts of like we talk about all sorts of random things. We talk about movies. We mm -hmm. we we pitch fake movies that we would like to see it's sometimes. True. Uh, one of my favorites being uh, Leatherface meets Lake Placid. Hell yeah. That you gotta, gotta make that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta make yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Leatherface with the crocodile. That's hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thumbs up. You know, thumbs up. Um, and all kinds of other groovy things. Like sometimes we even talk about like, well, what cam girl do you see this week? <laughs> um, like that kind of jazz. So feel free to come on down. Very few topics are off limits. Um, although, man, I will tell you this. Nazi shit's off limits. Fair, yeah. You know, unless you're you're only allowed to bring up that kind of shit to spit on them. Yeah, fair. You know. Yeah. And what about you? Y'all know me. I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Instagram, and Facebook. Just look up the Horror Guru or Blood Splattered Cinema, and I'll be there. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And if you'd like to help out either of us more directly, then be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And with that said, my fellow Gorehounds, uh, hashtag gray as fuck. Okay, um, uh, hashtag gray as fuck. If you made it this far into the vlog, then I want you to comment below and be sure to comment below using the hashtag gray as fuck. That way I know, that way Jack knows, that way the whole world knows you watch this vlog all the way through. And with that said, my fellow Gorehounds, peace out and I'll catch y'all later.